what is going on guys it is fall time it is basic season and i have been in one mood and one mood only and that is adding pumpkin to absolutely everything it's it's basic season it's pumpkin season when the leaves start falling the pumpkins start growing and when the pumpkins start growing i have to put pumpkin in everything so today we are making super fluffy pumpkin pancakes because it's fall time. Pumpkin just makes me feel cozy, makes me feel good. And if you're not having pumpkin in the fall, then when are you having pumpkin? So we're gonna make some pumpkin pancakes, but not just any normal pancakes. We're gonna make them insanely fluffy, insanely thick. So let's just get into it. First thing we need is three egg whites from real eggs. So I, I took an actual egg. There's a chicken in my backyard. I took three of his eggs, her, her eggs, and then I crack them and they are in this bowl right now. Do not use egg whites from a carton because they won't whip up the same and we want these thick, we want these fluffy. So take your three egg whites, add a little bit of cream of tartar and start whipping. And you already know when the whipping sticks are in the back, it just means one thing. After a few minutes of whipping, you wanna stop. It's not at stiff peaks yet. I know it's hard to stop before you get to the stiff peak, but stop now because we have to add some stuff to it and then we'll whip again. We're gonna need the classic 10 grams of cornstarch. It's on fluid ounces, what the? I never use fluid ounces. Grams only, 10 grams. And then 35 grams of erythritol. This just helps it give it structure and sweetness. And if you don't like your pancake sweet, that's not a pancake. That's bread. And one more whip until we form stiff peaks. So take your time. It's gonna take a few more minutes, but get it stiff, get it peaked, and hit like day. You see the eyes? It should look like there's a smiley face right in the middle of your egg whites. And that's when you know you've achieved stiff peaks. So now up next is a pinch of salt. And we wanna add two things to this to amp up the flavor, some butter extract and some vanilla extract. The combination of this is insane. It gives you that buttery vanilla-ness that you like in pancakes. And butter extract, it doesn't really taste like butter, but the smell it gives these pancakes is insane. It gives it that buttery aroma. And then you just get tricked. You don't even know what you're tasting, but you just smell butter and you're like, these are loaded with butter. So put a teaspoon of butter extract in and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And give this one more quick whip. And then do the test. We are ready to move on. I'm good. We are ready to move on. Now get your batter bowl because this is when we're making pancake batter. And of course it starts with pumpkin. So if you haven't seen my video, it's an old video, but it's about why I always keep cans of pumpkin at my house, in my pantry, always stocked up with pumpkin. It's a pretty cool video, so check it out. Pumpkin is one of the most versatile ingredients. It's amazing, it's delicious. It keeps things moist, it keeps things soft. It just gives things a better, creamier texture and it is very low in calories. It's healthy, it's pumpkin. And most importantly, that's pretty much everything I had to say about pumpkin. There's other things, but I can't think of anything else right now. So I guess that's it. Also, is this how you use a can opener? Apparently it's not. I saw some random video online where instead of putting it on the top, you're supposed to put it on the side and then the whole top of the, I don't really know what I'm talking about. Let me know down below. Did I use the can opener the right way or is there some different way where like half the can is supposed to just explode out the top? But we're gonna need a half cup, which is one serving of pumpkin. That is a 122 grams. I always open Greek yogurt tubs and sometimes it's thick, sometimes it's not, but there's one thing I can always count on and that is my pumpkin can to be thick with five C's. To this, we wanna add 150 grams of egg whites this is when you can use your carton because we don't need these egg whites to be fluffy. We just need these to be runny. So 150 grams going in, a pinch of salt. We're back with our butter and vanilla extract. So both of these go in, a teaspoon of each one. A small pinch of baking powder because we want these fluffy. We want these 
to have bubbles in them. You gotta have your pancakes sweet. And so I like to use three packs of artificial sweetener. You can use anything you want. You can use sugar, but then these wouldn't be as low calorie, but they would still be pretty low calorie. You could also use more erythritol if you want, but I'm just using three packets. And then the secret to these pancakes, the thing that keeps them so moist, so soft, and so low calorie is Salim Hus. So I use whole Salim Hus and I use 10 grams of this. This is a fiber. This just helps the texture so much. It makes these so much more moist. If you haven't seen my video on Salim Hus, watch that. But that's also another old video. We're throwing it back right now. These are the whole Hus right here. You could also use the powder if you want, but I like to use the Hus. 10 grams. And then we also want to use 20 grams of just regular flour. If you don't want to use regular flour, you can use coconut flour, almond flour. Both of those will work fine. 20 grams of this goes in. And we have everything we need in these pancakes for the batter in this bowl. So one thing left. That's why we got the whipping sticks. One last whip. And now that we have our pancake batter ready, the psyllium husk, I don't know what it does, but it just does something so magical to this. It gives it that bready texture, but keeps it so low calorie and also adds fiber. It's just, it's the best. We got our orange batter right here. We got our egg whites that are whipped and fluffy. One thing left, combine them. But before we do that, I got two pans back here because one pan's not enough when you want to make pancakes and when you want to make pancakes fast. So put both of these on a low heat. I have them on three out of tens. Add the egg whites that are fluffy into the orange pumpkin batter in three parts. That's gonna keep all the volume, all the fluffiness. So take a third of it, put it in and then fold it. And when the orange color has lightened, take another third and fold it in. And when that's done, take the rest, add it all in and then fold everything together until everything is one color. It's all gonna look like a very light orange color, kind of like orange juice or creamsicle. It's not gonna taste like that because they're pumpkin pancakes. And your batter should be done now. It should be pretty thick, pretty fluffy. Bring one pan over here with some spray oil. Give it a quick spray. When pancakes stick, it is the worst feeling in the world. I'm just gonna take spoonfuls of the batter and just make circles. That is how they're looking. I only made four. I didn't want to overcrowd the pan. I don't want them sticking to each other. I want to give them room to spread out and grow and be their little pumpkin pancakes. Back on the heat. Put a lid on it and keep it on the low heat because that's going to make sure they don't burn and pumpkin burns easily because it's it's filled with sugar, so natural sugars, whatever the pumpkin sugars are that are in it, but low heat, give it a few minutes, then we'll flip them, give it another few minutes, and then they'll be done. But keep the lid on the entire time until it's time to flip, because then you've got to take it off. Otherwise, you're going to have to dismantle the pan to flip it, but we have more batter and we have another pan. So rinse and repeat. Pan on the stove, lid on the pan. Pan number one is ready to flip. I'm not good at flipping pancakes. Ooh, there we go, okay, there's one. There's two. You see how fluffy they are and the smell that is coming off of these is insane. Back on the stove, lid on. Let the other side cook for a few minutes, but man, it is so much easier to flip small pancakes. Usually I get lazy and I just make a giant pancake and it's just so much harder to flip. I have to get under it with six spatulas from all angles and there's no angles because it's a circle. So it's pain, but when you make small, tiny baby pancakes, it's way easier. So these are done. I don't know what heat control is doing right now, but these are still not ready to flip. And these are completely done, but whatever. When you take the pancake and put it on a plate, the pancake is really hot. It's gonna hit the plate, and then there's gonna be a lot of steam that happens, and I don't want that, so I'm just gonna put it on a paper towel instead, right here, so that the paper towel absorbs all the steam. And I don't even need to oil this again because we already did, and it's non-stick. Thank you, 21st century. Let's make some more pancakes. 
pan on, lid on. Pan off, lid off. These have to be done now, so let's flip. Oh, I messed it up now. We fixed it. One foot. Six more to go. Flipping them with your fingers is so much easier because the pan is not insanely hot because we had it on a low heat. Look at that. Never mind, guys. You don't need a spatula. You don't need a spatula. It's not hot at all. I'm kidding. Be careful. Don't hurt yourself. Have you ever seen such perfect pancakes? No. Don't say yes. These are literally like souffle pancakes. Sorry about my ratchet coaster. I don't know what happened. I don't know if my dog just decided he was gonna take a bite out of that other end, but these are like souffle pancakes. They're just, I wanna bite this. I just wanna take a bite so bad, but I gotta wait. I gotta be patient because I wanna make a stack. And I can't have a stack of pancakes with one pancake with a bite in it, like this thing. I'm just gonna keep waiting on these. And when those are done, I will see you. And I'm also gonna go make some coffee. Look how thick these are. I mean, come on. That is thickness if you've ever seen it in a pancake. Look at this stack of pancakes, almost the size of my head. I literally have to put my finger on top of it because if I don't, it will fall down. Watch. The, the amount of time I have tried to balance this thing. Watch. There. There we go. There we go. There, there we go. No. It is okay if the stack falls because you just got to pick it back up. Put it back on top and there we go. We got our pancake stack. These are so fluffy. It is amazing. Fluffiness is on another level. <sighs> Amazing. I used to be a guy who would just drowse my pancakes in sugar-free syrup, but I'm different now. I don't know why, but I'm in the dipping mood. I've been really enjoying just putting a little bit of sugar-free syrup in a bowl. Make sure the pancakes are small circles like this, so you just pick one up and then give it a quick dip. This is so moist, it is insane. Don't even give them a dip, give them a schmear. Just get that syrup everywhere and then sink it. You would never know they're loaded with fiber and how low calorie they are and how high protein they are and how many egg whites are actually in this thing. But thank you for watching this video. Get a trail of syrup going. Let me know what your favorite recipe with pumpkin is. Is it pumpkin pie? Is it pumpkin pancakes? Is it something that I don't know of? Let me know down below and I will see you in the next video. Oh, before I go, coffee. And then pumpkin coffee dip. That is, oh man, cookies and milk, upgraded to pumpkin pancakes and coffee. If you want a little cinnamon, put that on. This is basic season to its max.